Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new conditions feature in Oxygen 2.4 to set up a maintenance mode or a coming soon page like this. You can see we've got a banner along the top left that indicates the website's coming soon. We've got a logo in the middle. And then at the bottom, if we hover this padlock, we have a slide in login form so the authorized users can still access the page. And because the way we've set this up using Oxygen's templating system, this page will be shown to any user who visits the site and is logged out no matter where they go on the website. But if you log in, you can view the website normally. So to get this set up, let's jump back in to the dashboard. And I've already got a page set up with some content. And under Oxygen Templates, I've got a main template set to catch all which will apply to every page on the site. This is where we're going to work to set up our maintenance mode or coming soon elements and apply our conditions. So let's edit this with oxygen. Alright now that we're in our main template we have some prep work we need to do. So we need to group our header, footer, and inner content elements so that we can show or hide them based on our condition all at once. So if we go into our structure panel, we can see that we have a header, inner content element, and footer, and we need all these to be inside a div. So we're going to go ahead and click add, choose div, and then let's drag these elements into this div. And then we'll probably have to reorder these. Nope, they went in in the right order perfectly. Now, a note about header builder elements inside of div wrappers. Sometimes if you don't have an explicit width set for the header builder element it will be too narrow. So what you'll usually have to do is choose the header builder element, go into advanced size and spacing and make sure it's set to width 100%. In this case I had already set it to width 100% so it appears fine. Great, so now we have our div wrapping all of our elements, and because it wraps our inner content element, this div will wrap the content of any page rendered by this template. Now we need to add our coming soon splash screen. So let's click add, and for this we'll use a div. We want to make sure it's outside of this div. Perfect. Now let's go up and let's style this a bit. So we're going to go to advanced size and spacing and we're going to set the height to 100 VH because we want it to take up 100% of the viewport height. Now because we want to do a slide in login form we're going to go to advanced layout and make sure we have this set to overflow hidden so that we don't end up with scroll bars when we have an element that's outside the bounds of this parent container and then we want to make sure that we're set to position relative because we're going to use absolute positioning on the slide in form. Now let's add a quick logo so we'll use a div here and then in that we'll just use an icon for this one and let's look for something that looks somewhat like a logo. Great we'll use a flag now let's change the color of this. We have some uh, global colors loaded in from our design set that we're using on this site, so we'll use those. We're going to make that blue, and then we're going to select the div that's wrapping this icon and apply some styles to that. So we'll go to Advanced, Size and Spacing, and let's just do a bunch of padding around this, and then we'll make the flag bigger. Great, and now the div, go to advanced background, and we're going to set the background color to maybe a gray, and let's make sure that's not too transparent, and let's bring that color down a bit. Great, now we'll go to advanced borders, because we want to have a slight border radius on this, and let's go to advanced effects. And let's add a box shadow here. So we'll choose black and we'll go fairly transparent. And then let's set the horizontal and vertical offsets to zero. And then let's use a big blur and then a negative spread to give us kind of a 
subtle shadow effect. Great. Now we want to choose this div and we want to make sure everything is centered so that that appears right in the middle. Now we can also add some text below this if we wanted to. So let's go to heading and that's way too big, but we'll change this. We'll call it website. Uh, let's resize it to be kind of the size of the icon here. And then change the color to the same color the icon's using. And then we'll make sure everything's centered here. So now we have a little logo displayed. And next we need to set up our slide in login form, which is super easy to do. So all we need to do is we need to add a div. We're going to add a icon element and we're going to look for a lock. We'll use this slightly unlocked padlock, maybe to indicate that hovering over it allows you to unlock things. Uh, we'll change the color to this kind of dark gray here. And then let's add, go to add. And then under WordPress, we have a login form. Great, now let's style the login form a little bit. Um, let's do a slight border radius on the forms themselves. Let's bring the border color just down a little more subtle. And then let's change the submit button to use the same gray as the padlock. And that should be it for the login form. Now let's go to the div that's containing these elements. Let's center everything under the primary tab of the properties pane. And then let's add some padding on the left and right. And that looks pretty good. So now that we have everything set up, we can go in and position this absolutely and add the slide in effect. The reason we didn't position it first is because then it would be off the screen and we wouldn't be able to see anything properly. So I always like to design it first and then if I'm going to absolutely position it do that after it's designed. So we're going to go down to position absolute. Great and at bottom we're going to have to use a negative amount and how much really depends on the form itself but we want this padlock to be visible so we'll just use the arrow keys to get this down about where we want it and then as you can see the overflow is hidden so it's not gonna cause any scroll bars hopefully so now that that's done we need to go to advanced effects transition and make sure we have a transition duration set on this so that when we hover over it it just doesn't just teleport up into the viewport we want it to slide in we can use the ease timing function that usually looks pretty good and now we need to set the hover state of this div so when we hover over it we need to go to advanced layout, choose position absolute, and then set bottom to zero, and that brings it up to where we want it. So now if we save this and view it on the front end, we can see how it functions. Now we're still gonna see both sections, both our regular website and our coming soon section, because we haven't applied conditions yet, but we wanna test this and make sure this works, and it works perfectly. So everything's pretty much set up for the coming soon slash maintenance mode section. So now we need to just jump into the back end and set up our little coming soon banner, which is entirely optional. And then we'll set up our conditions. So let's jump back here and let's select the div for the coming soon section. And let's add a new div. Now for these little angled banners, you usually have to make them very wide. So this is going to look absolutely terrible until we get it set up. So let's go ahead and add our coming soon text. Coming soon. And then we're going to select the div. And let's go to advanced background and choose a background color for it. In this case, we'll use this same uh, kind of teal color that we've been using. And we want to set that text to white. Great. Now back to the div, here's where the width comes in. So let's use size and spacing under the advanced tab and let's set the width to something crazy like a thousand pixels, right? Because we need to angle this and we need it to um, look like it's continuing beyond the screen. 
so we need it to be very wide. So let's jump back over to the primary tab, make sure the text is centered. So this basically should be okay. Sometimes it takes a little bit of tweaking to get it to look right. So let's choose the div and we're going to use absolute positioning on this as well to get it up there at the top left of the screen, but it could go to the top right or anywhere else on the screen as well. We're going to go to layout and scroll on down and choose position absolute. And then we're going to go to the top, probably zero pixels. Well, we don't want to go completely zero. Let's do something like 50 and then 50 from the left. Actually, it's going to have to be a negative amount because we're going to need to get this thing all the way over here so that we can angle it. So we're going to approximate this and then we're going to go to advanced effects and choose transform, add a transform and the default transform is rotate. And then we're just going to rotate this thing to try to get that angle that we want. Now that's not bad, but it's not quite centered as far as the text is concerned. So we'll go back to layout and we're going to adjust that left position until the coming soon text looks about right. Perfect. So there's that. So now we have that little banner at the top left to indicate, hey, this site's coming soon. It's not done yet. But we also have our slide in login form for anybody that's supposed to get into the site and take a look at it. Now, amazingly, the easy part is setting up the conditions to make this actually work. So we have two divs now. We have the top div here in our structure panel that contains all of our coming soon elements. This is our actual coming soon section. Now, the second div is our website. So it contains a header, the inner content, which will reflect the content of every page and then the footer. So we want to show this top div, the coming soon div, only to users who are logged out. So we'll choose the conditions icon in the properties pane, click set conditions and click add your first condition. And we're going to choose the user logged in condition and we're going to choose equals false. So now this will only be shown to a user who is not logged in. Now we need to make sure that the website div down here is shown only to users who are logged in. So we'll click the div and then click the conditions icon in the properties pane, click set conditions, add your first condition, choose the same condition, which is user logged in equals true. So now that's pretty much all there is to setting up the conditions for this setup. So let's save this and we're going to jump up to the front end. Now we're logged in right now. So if we refresh this page, we will see only our website content. Now to see what the coming soon page looks like or maintenance mode page looks like, we're going to go ahead and log out. And we're going to try to visit, say, the sample page. All right. So all we see here is our coming soon banner, our logo and our little padlock. So this is going to be shown no matter what page the user visits on your site because the condition and the coming soon div were all set up in the main template, which applies to everything. So you only have to do this once and it takes effect across the site. So if somebody needs to come in here, say you need to come in and work on it, you just go over this padlock here, type in your username and password and click login and you're immediately taken to the page. Now you're going to want to turn off maintenance mode eventually. So let's jump back into the builder and I'll show you the quickest way to keep this in place, but disable it. So the first thing we'll want to do is make sure we've selected our coming soon slash maintenance mode div and go into conditions. And we need to set this to a condition that will never evaluate as true. So we can choose something like archive number of posts and then put like 999. So since this isn't an archive and we're probably never going to have an archive with 999 posts, we'll probably be good here. We also could just add another condition so that we're never going to have two things happen at the same time that evaluate to true like user ID equals 1234. Perfect. So these are never going to evaluate to true, which means this element now, the div and everything inside of it will never be shown. So let's save that. And then finally, we need to choose our website div. 
And we need to just remove the condition from that because we need it to be shown to everyone once we're done with maintenance mode. So just hit the X there and we'll save that. And now if we jump into the front end, we won't see the coming soon or maintenance mode div at all while we're logged in. And if we log out, we should have the same experience. And as you can see, we've now disabled maintenance mode. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a maintenance mode or coming soon page using the new conditions feature in Oxygen 2.4. Thank you very much for watching.